How's she going, eh? We got a nice fella off of next door who would like to have his car looked at, so that's what we're gonna do today. This thing's got some kind of windshield wiper issues that we're gonna look at and fix. Prop rods still work, that's magic. All right, so first things first, I wanna figure out what the heck the problem is with this car. Let's see here. What happened? I can hear them moving. I hear something. Clearly the wipers aren't moving. Okay, you gotta pop these little covers off first. One there, one there. And we're gonna unbolt those. So these are 15 millimeter in case you're wondering. A lot of stuff on Chevy is 15 and 13. Don't ask me why. I'm like Toyota, I think a lot of stuff was 12 or 14. It just sort of is what it is. One other thing before I pull these off, take note of where these arms are sitting when this thing is all the way down in this position. You know, see how they're sitting there? If you put them down too close, then they're gonna be hitting stuff and stripping gears out. So just pay attention to that. All right, guys, it's raining, which sucks, but I wanna show you what the issue is here with this. So this is the drive that drives the windshield wipers and it's all rotten. All, there's supposed to be teeth right here. If your teeth are all missing here, you're gonna have a problem like what this guy has. So this is gonna have to be replaced. If you don't have that issue, you may have something else going on, but this one, this is gonna need to be replaced. So we need to pull this shroud fully off now. So first things first is this piece right here. Just pull it off. All right, so now there's a bunch of these horrific black clips. I don't know what you want to call them. I call them horse shit, goddamn cocksucker, flathead, break them in half. Where can I buy these bullshit clips? That's what I call them. This one's more visible. See it right there? To the right of the little post sticking up in the little notch right here yeah that's it if you know nothing about these clips get a set of these they sell them at harbor freight and i know i don't i'm not a big fan of harbor freight tools i don't think their stuff is great i think a lot of it is trash it's just garbage it's not gonna last you two uses however something like this that they never use and it's just used for pulling out plastic tabs is fine so this you stick up under here goes under the top part first and then you pop the top on it then you go under the bottom which of course is a complete nightmare in this car and you pop the clip up there you go so once again i don't even know if you guys can see this one but the guy i got right now is a little too big but that's okay there you go there's another one Okay guys, there's another clip right here that you gotta get. Same thing, you gotta pop the top first and then you gotta get the underneath part. There you go, got the top popped. Pull the clip out, that's the number three. Not so bad if you have the right tool. And that's half, that is half the battle with doing mechanic type work like this on cars. I'm not a mechanic. Just to be clear, because I don't want to hear all the comments about how you suck it or be. I just do everything myself. That's how I've always been. So maybe I can teach you something. Maybe you want to learn more stuff. You know? It's nice to be able to fix your own things. It's one of the best feelings in the world to build something. Not type in my soft Excel all day. Like those jobs, I'm sorry. They suck the life out of people. When I did HVAC work, I go into office buildings all the time. They're some of the most miserable people, in general, that I've had to deal with, at least where I am. 
I can't speak for everybody, obviously. I'm sure people have some office jobs they love. I'm just letting you know that they're soul-sucking for a lot of people, and there's a reason for that. So keep that in mind. This work is harder, a little harder on your body, but before you know it, you don't have to pay anybody to ever fix anything again because you know how to do everything yourself. Then we gotta start removing this plastic piece, which we start out here. And you can pull this out like that. You see, this just lifts up at this point. It's two pieces, okay? The one on the passenger side and the one on the driver's side. And the one on the passenger side goes on top, as you can see here. So that can come off. Careful, it has a, uh, it's got the windshield sprayers in it. So don't rip those right off, otherwise you're not going to have that anymore. So we just want to kind of move it out of the way. There we go. All right, so that is some added verification that, you know, that is indeed our issue is these splines on here. We're going to turn the car on and turn on the windshield wipers and make sure that the whole mechanism is moving. So, glad we did that. What's our issue? Our transmission is broken. And I'll shut it back off and show you what's happening. So right inside here is where this rod is supposed to attach. That rod that you see in the background there, right there. That ball is supposed to go on the bottom of this that I just pushed out in front. So it's not anymore. This thing's a hunk of crap. And if it was hooked up, when it went around in a circle, when the motor went around in a circle, it would actually wipe this around. So that's our issue. We're going to take it apart. Alright, so we need to take, if you look at this, we need to take this off here in order to get these bolts out here, which hold the motor. To this assembly and then there's also a nut here there's one here and there's one here now take note of the position of this guy here if you put it back on wrong it's your windshield wipers aren't going to work properly or they're going to go backwards or whatever so this bolt here is a 13 just so you know we need to get these off i had to guess there 10 but not 100 percent sure and then all these ones as well and these look like tens too so it looks like 10 millimeter and uh we'll pull all six of these that guy those three there this one and that one there so there it is there's the transmission I don't know if that's the right word for it, but that's basically what it is. Transmitting the power from the motor to the windshield wipers. So, we can determine the year of the car by the tenth digit of the VIN. So in this car, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a 7. It's a 2007. And that's according to the chart. So, I'll give you the chart in case that's something you're interested in. So, for the linkages and the wiper arms, which brings up a good point, you need to look at the wiper arms. If, the, if they're all torn to shreds on the inside too, they're going to have to be changed as well. Otherwise, you're just going to end up messing up the transmission again. All right, we're going to get our part. Customer's okay with it. He says, yeah, do it. We want it fixed. I told him there's a possibility that the wipers could be also an issue. The gearing on the inside of them doesn't look that good. Although, AVE taught me a lesson a long time ago. 
that I'm sure was in there somewhere, but it is more obvious now, which is that those do have a bolt on the top of them, or a nut that you screw down, and that nut alone, 15 millimeter, is going to put a ridiculous amount of clamping load on those windshield wipers. I would think to the point that the gears are almost an afterthought. That's part. There she is. Zip tied. 109 plus tax, so 120 bucks it costs to replace this POS. Alright guys, so here's the new one. Here's the old one. Oops. Here's the old one. The only part we need to change over is this little nubbin right here. It needs to go on here. So in order to get this off of here, at least if you're buying the, the, the Corman Dorman part, this is on here, uh, just to be really clear, so nobody's confused. Again, this went right here. It's attached down here. The end of it has this, where it mounts to the motor. You need to get this ball out of here, this piece. We need this piece for the new one. We need to pop this back on here. And we'll see how difficult that is. Ah, there we go. Took some major squeezing. You might need some help. So guys, you gotta put the, you gotta have the motor down in there first. And then you put the transmission in on an angle. And then you gotta try and get these bolts in. I found it's easier to reach from this side to screw the bolts in and then hold the stuff together over here with your left hand. Remember guys, when you're putting this back together to line your marks up that I made earlier, you might wanna make it with a paint pen instead of doing it with a screwdriver like I did, but make sure you line those back up because it's gonna determine how your wipers work. And if you don't line it up properly, your wipers are going to do all sorts of weird shit, like go backwards or strip out super badly. So just make sure you get your mark lined back up. All right, so we're going to start the car and make sure this thing is moving now. All right, let's go see. There you go. That's how she works. So, I'll show you too how you need to reinstall the wipers to make sure that you don't end up with a wacky wiper scheme going on. We're working. All right, now clips. Do not push down on the end of this until you get this clip all the way down. So, I'll show you in a second. You want to push it down around the edges just to give you an idea what I'm talking about. You want, it, you want this head sticking up still. You want to get this all the way down at the bottom first and then push the center down. Here's our clip over here. You know, jiggle it around, do what you gotta do. This one's a bit more of a pain. Again, don't push on the top. I know it's a pain in the ass, but there you go, see? Don't push on the top, now push on the top. Here's my last one, it fell apart. You can just put these back together, it's not the end of the world, see? Yeah. There's the whole push down on the edges, push down on the center. All right, next. In case you're wondering, there's your groove. And the flap is going tor towards the window. Take a gander. This one here is your passenger side. This one. Is your driver's side. A key thing I may have forgot to mention 
turn your car on, make sure your wipers are all the way off, and make sure that when you're watching this, when you turn the wipers on without the blades, now this thing is not going backwards at all. You notice how that's not going backwards? It, do, it only turns clockwise. If you have them wrong, what will often happen is you'll, if you watch that nut, it's going to turn counterclockwise first and then it's going to go clockwise so okay so now we have our switch in the off position the car is running now we should be able to put these wipers on So we'll try one wiper first, just to make sure that it's working before we go all crazy. Okay, there we go, right? If you turn your wipers on, you put these wipers on and you turn them on and it seems, if you're paying attention and it seems like they're going that way, turn them off right away. Pull the wipers back off of the mounts, turn your car on, turn this switch all the way to the off position, and then come over here and take a look and turn the, the switch on and make sure that that is rotating clockwise, stopping and coming back. If it's doing any sort of weird stuff where it's going backwards first and then coming forwards, you probably have your transmission mount that's underneath here that we put on earlier, that one nut that goes on the motor. You likely have that in the wrong position. Here we go, ready? Oh my god. Two working windshield wipers. Would you believe it? You guys can do it too. And that's the that's the point of this channel. It's not that hard. If you need any help, leave a message in the comments. I am more than welcome to let you know anything you need to know about this. I've done it on a few of these Impalas now, so might be something I actually know about. There's lots I don't. Anyway. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy the video, you enjoy the channel, or you just think that what I'm doing is helpful, please like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, and it helps me know that I'm headed in the right direction. So anyway, have a good one, guys. See you later, buddy.